Today we had our geisha experience. The group went to a studio where we were dressed in traditional kimonos and samurai attire. We had our hair tied back and makeup put on. <laughs> the white makeup was weirdly waxy, but it gave us a perfectly smooth complexion. There were photos of the kimonos we could choose from. After that, we were given lace front wigs, which got super heavy and uncomfortable after about five minutes. Many, many I chose this red and yellow combination and some matching hair accessories. Yeah, it took him a long time to manage. Yeah, pretty escaped the And he's got this. Monique and Scott both opted to be samurai, <laughs> while Dan went a less traditional route. Anri had skipped the geisha experience and rented a yukata for the day instead. <laughs> Once the photo shoot was done, I also headed over to one of the establishment's sister salons and picked out a yukata for the day as well. They styled our hair and helped us pick out matching bags. <laughs> The group then headed towards the famous bamboo forest. The first part of the bamboo forest was actually really underwhelming, but then we crossed the street and got to the main section and it was much better. It was really busy, even for the middle of a weekday. Anri and I kept getting stopped for photos. Yeah, like, Wave! <laughs> We had noticed that most of the train stations we had visited had recorded bird chirps and tweets played at the platforms. Apparently, this is to assist the blind in knowing where certain things are, like the elevators. How are we enjoying the bamboo forest? Awesome. It was underwhelming, but it got better. Yeah. Got better. It soon came time for us to return our ukases. <laughs> So we headed back to the shop while the rest of the group kept onward to reach the monkeys at the end of the bamboo trail. Guys, I'm here with you. We've had a of us standing in front of things. You guys want a nice photo? Yeah, we do. We do. I think so. This forest is surprisingly lovely after what seemed initially disappointing. Yeah, it's really disappointing. In 1957, Iwatayama Monkey Park boasts roughly 130 Japanese snow monkeys. Situated on top of a mountain, the park offers breathtaking views of Kyoto. 550 yen will get you into the monkey park, where visitors have the chance to feed monkeys by hand. <laughs> <laughs>